people as you head out. We continue our live team coverage now with Jordan Burgess. He's live at the 7075 Interchange. Right now, the snow along with the cold out here is making for a dangerous combination. Not a ton of snow has fallen, but all of it is sticking to the roads because of those low temperatures. And take a look, even here on the interstate, a few of the lanes still have some light snow covering. Traffic is moving along okay, but on a lot of the other roads, they still have a lot of snow covering. So all of that could make for a rough morning on those roads out there. Take a look at what happened to one driver who found that out the hard way. The vehicle slid off the street at Nicholas and South Broadway and smashed it to a light pole before getting tangled up in this fence. Thankfully, the driver was okay, but the crash, just another reason to take it easy out there this morning. The salt trucks are out trying to do what they can, but because of those low temperatures, much of this snow doesn't want to melt. So even on the interstate, you'll want to dial back that speedometer just a bit and expect your drive to work to be more of a crawl than a commute on the roads this morning. Slow, very slow. I got brand new car tires put on my car like a couple weeks ago and it's still very slick. So I would recommend slowing down. <laughs> Now, through the morning, conditions here on the interstates have improved because as more traffic has gotten out here, some of that snow has melted a little bit. And also, we keep seeing plows and salt trucks going up and down these interstates, trying to clear off every little bit of snow and ice. But again, something that you're going to have to watch out for this morning. So take your time. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.